Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Hearts Run 4 Fascist. Well, Fascist Guanxi Click. We've become, no, the third Guanxi Cliché, as I usually said it. But um, one thing I forgot to end, uh, say last episode is I totally forgot we buffed all our donations. I was kind of thinking, why is Soviet Union just holding on? I completely forgot that we buffed them. We buffed every single nation, including China and Japan, which is now one of my allies. But we only buffed China and Japan, I think. 25% each just to make the war longer basically between them and well I, if I remember correctly they fought for a very very long time until I backstabbed China or backstabbed I attacked them in the back but yeah it was a massive massive war here for ages but yeah every single ally and fascist and Soviet Union were buffed with the total maximum amount but we're only playing with regular difficulty well I, I think we're doing quite fine even though but let's see if we can finish this off this time we have half an hour and uh, let's go oh, well we have more than half an hour I have half an hour to record this episode <laughs> all right we are gonna do this this time I've had good feeling about it today I have a really good feeling about today so so far 100% win rate you go in here cool cool continue continue this party breaking everywhere no, god damn it, you're actually not breaking. Um, but I don't actually have to win everywhere. It was just a good feeling. And let's see, you... Oh, was that actually a province closer to... Mo no. You... Oh, god, you will actually do quite badly if you don't attack here in support. Good. They stopped attacking, then I'm fine with it. Um, you are not stopping attacking. Um, I don't hear anything from the game itself. Hopefully you guys have music. I don't hear anything. Uh, you could please notify me in the comments below if you have any volume. Uh, for some reason it doesn't. I could just restart and redo it, but who cares. <laughs> it's my beautiful voice you're here for. Yeah, I couldn't keep a straight face there. Uh, okay, please break that unit. I want two provinces. If I have that one, I'll break them up and Soviet Union will most likely move some troops here to like reinforce this. I just need to break them right here. Okay, let's try to attack them like this. No, you're still attacking. No, you, please attack there. No, you four, go in here. That's why they have been so hard to break with the organization. They have ha those buffs. I totally forgot about it. Um, no, you attack right here. God damn it! They managed to take that. Um, but we might grab this anyway. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, if, if we just grab this, I'm gonna be happy about it. Okay, cool, cool. Nice. Then we finally have broken this. I want free... I delete that line, actually. Every single one. Every unit. Assign... Not remove that line. God freaking damn it. Now I lost all the planning bonus I possibly had. Okay, that was bad. But what we can do is... At least redo some of it. Okay, I want three divisions to be standing right like, like that. And uh, yeah, please push a bit quickly now while they are reorganizing some of their troops. Um, I'm just still just, I'm gonna play it really safe still. We lost 120k equipment in reserve just for us pushing for several years. So I'm not gonna make that mistake again. I'm gonna play it very safely. I'm gonna wait until we have full artillery. I'm gonna wait until we have stockpiles of equipment uh, before I do any massive offensive once again since th th it was just a too heavy price that I paid and we're taking so heavy losses in manpower oh it really hurts uh, we took like 2 million 1.5 million just manpower losses in just a couple of hours no in half an hour real time but well how, how, how long could it have been a year in game half a million losses no, half a million, one and a half million losses. I just said that. And someone notified, you should probably build military factories. I probably should. Though it needs to be in an area that is under my control. But I'm pretty sure I've already filled them with military factories. Yes, I have. I even filled parts of parts of Soviet Union, which are getting destroyed. No. Like, this one doesn't have any resistance. But this one has massive resistance. Why? Hmm. So it's just if I just managed to smash the resistance, then it could be fine. Like if I smashed it here, then they will just. I think it's the bordering 
growth that is now ruining it. But I guess I could build military factories in these areas since it's fine. So let's just double check. Um, these areas should be fine, okay? Because that's basically what I need. I need more military factories. And um, what is what's the iPad now doing? It somehow thought I said hello Siri. All right, you continue pushing very slowly. Only where I tell. Very slowly, so you're not pushing. You're only doing it where I say so. And um, that might was a really bad attack. And now, please, all of you, attack straight at this front. You will fail. Or, well, you should be failing at least. Though, if you succeed, uh, uh, I won't complain, but... I was only hoping to grab one province from here, but... It seems like I might be able to grab two of them, even. Maybe even three provinces. And just breaking them at several points will be really good. So let's attack right there, let's attack there, and there. that was my father asking if I have anything <laughs> to clean, if you heard that shout. And god, that was a lot of division. This was what kind of was I was looking for. I was just hoping that they would spread out a bit more. Um, and well, just split up their forces a bit. And having, well, how many divisions are there? Eight, nine, ten divisions there. It's not a lot in the big s scheme of things, but I will take what I can. And I will take every single advantage that I might be able to get. So, uh, push in here, grab that province, push in, grab that. It seems like a really good opportunity to just press execute order now, but I still don't trust it. Okay, you are doing fine. Let's go in right here with, yeah, a bunch of forces actually. Let's try to grab it. And let's see, you, you actually have free rain there. <laughs> free free rain there free rain there yeah yeah it's free rain there rain there or rain there i might i'm probably saying something wrong there because that sounds like well the R rudolph the red nosed rain there or whatever you say <laughs> i'm weird today i'm really tired i'm really really tired first day back at work and i'm i just got really really tired i, I slept a tiny at uh, just a tiny bit and well it's work I love my work, but still, I have to go up several hours earlier than I usually did during the entire holiday. So I'm really tired. I might just be blabbing out random stuff that makes n absolutely no sense. But hopefully, you can deal with it and not be get too annoyed. All right, let's continue pushing right here. I, I, it's going really well. Just taking this personal control over everything. Is it that we really broke all the Soviet equipment? No. No, they need to have... Maybe, maybe it's because they have so many divisions. Their units are actually... Kind of taking this... Badly. They, they, are not, they do not have enough equipment for everyone. And that just makes it possible for me to be able to push. Like, it looks like they have enough equipment, but... It might not be so. Uh, they might be, like, l lacking critical equipment. Oh, God. Really? Nuking Stalingrad? God. If I only had, like, the new patch on, on this game, then they would start losing natural unity. Not me. They would. And that could be really helpful. Especially, I have one nuke, but I have no way of delivering it. Like, I don't have any fighters. I don't have any strategic bombers. I don't have anything. Can't we just, like, shoot it with a... Catapult, uh, that would be kind of short, but at least do something. Catapult is better than nothing. Uh, let's see, push in here, push in here, please. Go and grab that province. You attack there, you attack there, you support them. You go in here and attack right there. You should be attacking there. And just continue that onwards. Uh, let's see, two, two units there, one unit here, one unit there, and one unit here cool having this oh god we have lost 150,000 more troops Soviet unions are still so it's unions so it's union is still doing quite well and it seems like they broke us here but let's try and instantly push that back if we broke them right here that would be huge especially if we can surround it just every surround is super important right now how, how long one day okay they will most likely be able to 
Oh, we got one division at least. One division is better than no divisions. And they're really trying to retake it now. So let's counterattack. And you guys go up there and support them after. And you guys should now be pushing in right here. That could really work now. If I manage to break them there and we have no research at all, let's fix this. Right now, basically. Uh, I have that, I have that, I do not have that one. Let's see, I have everything right here. Do I have... Oh, uh, yes, I have good ships, actually. Uh, all that is done. Um, I don't know, let's do destroyers. That takes one day. <laughs> so no problem, no problems right there. Uh, let's do anti-air guns, why not? And push in right here, push in right here. Uh, someone commented in the last video about losing 1.5 million men and it isn't even Stalingrad. No, Stalingrad we took for like zero men. We just randomly took it. Though this was our, our Stalingrad. Krasnodar, that was our Stalingrad. That, I don't know how many men that must have died there. It was just a ridiculous amount. Oh, we need to get over there. If we could get over this river, that would be huge. Oh god, push here too. Getting over that river and grabbing a city, that would be even better. Of course. Uh, let's try, try and just go in here. Get over that river. No, push here. Break them. Otherwise you will go over here, attack right there, and two units attack the reinforcements that might be coming behind them. You move up here, because we need the extra support behind them. God, we might be grabbing that quite quickly. Oh, maybe not. One unit, get over there. Try to intercept the reinforcements that are coming. Attack right here. All right, cool. Uh, try to grab that province. Nice, you are falling back. Excellent, and we gr we took it. We freaking, we took it. I was kind of afraid of that. Maybe to be another Stalingrad, but maybe not. Maybe not. And how close are you to surrendering now, Soviet Union? Uh, you need... Well, I basically think if I just got to Moscow, we could win this. We could win this. All I need is Moscow. Moscow. Uh, you get over as close as possible. And let's see, where is my tank division? Do you still have all your... Or you finally have all your equipment. And you're right here. Um, let's grab the coast then. Stalino. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad of a victory either. Grabbing that without any troubles would be nice. How many victory points? 10 victory points and here's one victory point. Well, 10 is better than one, but one is not nothing. It's little, but it's some. Come on, Stalino. Oh, you're actually taking it. All right. Um, did we actually manage to break them now? This might be a big risk, especially since we're so close now to actually succeeding in what I said, but we're gonna push. Let's try it. It's going well for us. It's going really well for us now. So, oh god, let's, let's push in a very careful manner though. Halt, everyone halt. Cool. Only push where you think you can win. And now, right, you want to reorganize that. Of course you want to reorganize it. No? Oh god, you're nuking me. Of course I'm starting to lose them. Don't lose these tank divisions. I don't care what we have to do. You're not gonna lose that tank division. That would be a massive failure for me. Yeah, take back Stalino. I don't care. Don't lose that tank division. No matter what. All right, uh, do not push, do not push. That screwed up a lot of stuff. So do not push, whatever you do, do not push. And we instantly lost a bunch of equipment that we did not have to lose. Well done, Daniel, well done, Daniel. You should have waited longer. Factories are still destroyed, all right. Uh, you have split up this, okay. 17 divisions. Hmm. Okay, what I'm gonna do right here. This is deleted. That's deleted. Everyone assigned right here. Cool. Take these units. That's 10 divisions. Let's grab a couple more. 15 divisions. Clean this up, please. 
you're gonna get a leader. Yeah, you. Uh, you, five, first of all, are gonna kill that unit. The rest of you are gonna reorganize along this line. Uh, right? Yes, cool. All of you are assigned to this path plan, even better. Uh, you, 15, clean that up. I don't want any trouble, just clean it up. Having that done would be really nice. So I could just focus on the middle part. I, I don't actually know what's best now. Having a large front, having a shorter one, I can't decide. So I will just do whatever I usually do, which is basically clean up fronts, try to reduce it, and then use my superior micro skills to actually win. And how supply up here? It's kind of bad. How supply generally? It's getting better, it's getting better. Though this was mostly the reason why, or most likely a reason why we lost Stalino. You know? And we also pushed too deeply, too greedily. Um, but we still haven't lost our tank division, so that's alright. Uh, we have 5 division right here, you should really try and push right down here. We need to just increase our front. It needs to be more than one province big. Otherwise it's super easy to cut off and you surround and kill. Well, maybe not kill, but reduce, like it destroy the supply lines. Shut us down. We, it needs to be several provinces large. Oh, two of you attack up here. It would be nice if we grab that. No, we won't be able to retreat as soon as possible. We can still defend. We can just defend really well with these divisions. Even though we're taking quite heavy losses now. Oof, I do not like this. Japan, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, all those divisions won't be necessary right there. <laughs> all those divisions won't <laughs> even be close to be necessary right there. Oh god. Why, Japan? Why? So. Just one second. Alright. Uh, let's... Like the same thing here that I just, I just tried to rush. This was a bad idea. Maybe not. I just tried to cut them up in two again because that would also be a pretty big deal. It's very risky doing it, but I know they don't have a lot of divisions up here, so we it might actually work. Okay, uh, push up here. Half of you attack right there. Actually, half of you go in right there. Uh, you're pushing up. Let's attack from several directions. You're still c continuing. You're trying to s avoid this round. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you should really be berserking forward. <laughs> okay, I don't think everyone was assigned to the battle plan. That might have been an issue. All of you are slowly gathering up here. Uh, let's try to cut, cut this off in two. This might be very hard because, well... It's a big area. A lot of divisions are trying to escape from this. And that will be extremely hard to actually break. We need to be closer to the front. Well, one province front. One province front. That doesn't make any sense. We need to be closer to having one province at several directions. We can attack on every single point. And if one break, we got the cut off. Otherwise, this will be almost impossible. Alright. Um, still factories are broken. Yeah. Uh, please try and grab that province. Half of you go up here. Go in right here. Try to grab that city. Nice. Push forward. Push up. Push up. Now, actually, you two stay right there. Tank, go up here. You attack right there. Slowly, slowly expanding. So here I have four division blocking a lot of... Actually, those units doesn't look like they have a lot of supply or... Okay. When you walk in here, you can attack that province down there along with that unit. Uh, those units didn't look like they had a lot of um, organization, so I thought I might be able to break them, and I was correct. Always keep your back secured. That's super important, and something I've learned to regret several times during this campaign. Like, oh god, I have a breakthrough, and then I lost it all. Several times. But I think it's quite amazing that we actually managed to do something about this. Because, well, we're actually doing something. We are, we seem to be winning. And uh, I'm quite amazed. 
Even though this horrible, horrible tactic that you definitely shouldn't be doing, but you could do. Hmm. Maybe that's a good thing, actually. That this bad tactic, that I really have to struggle with it. And I would really have to struggle with it even more if this was the latest patch. Okay, how is this tank division? It's only missing support equipment, then I don't care. I want that extra tank division. Let's see, right here, you're gonna be assigned to this guy, and let's see, we're gonna have two guys now. Uh, both of you, let's strategic redeploy to Stalino. I'm probably slotting that Russian. How, how uh, I'm probably slotting exactly how you should say that city. I know Stalingrad, but Stalino, is that correct? Maybe not. Uh, well, let's see in the comments. Okay, um... Yeah, it's looking good, it's looking good. We're taking a lot of land this session. A surprising amount. Like, why didn't we do this last time? Was it so that we actually just paused the game when they were on the point of breaking? Uh, it seems unbelievable, but... It kind of feels like it right now. We are pushing, they are falling back a lot. We have taken a bunch of divisions, or a bunch of provinces, provinces basically everywhere. The south is looking better, the north is looking much, much better. Um, or maybe not, actually. Uh, please relax, reorganize, and then we're gonna have one last structure. It seems like they have actually pulled up a lot of forces. Maybe that's why. They pulled up a lot of forces to defend this area for some reason. Uh, supply is kind of bad. If we just grabbed, well, a port, that would be excellent up there. Uh, we're still building military factories. Cool. Let's try and break some more land in north. Yeah, in the north we fixed it. We're pushing a couple provinces in the center. It's just looking generally much better. How close are you to actually regrouping now, tank? Um, you're very soon there. Okay, nice. Uh, we need more. We need more um, military factories on support equipment. Let's add additional five. No, let's additional four. Because that leaves... Well, that should have left one on support. Yeah, one on fighters still. Uh, what was that? Someone just joined the war and I did not look at which nation. Let's see. Legionnaire Bulgaria joined the Axis. Alright. Okay, that was... Okay, I don't care. It seems like the axis is Peru, Venezuela, Legionnaire Bulgaria, and Legionnaire Romania. Cool axis state. The my oh. yeah, stuff like this is should at least be fixed in the latest patch because that's ridiculous. What the hell are you doing, ally? Oh god, those u those units could be so useful here. At uh, twenty. 21 units, uh, a tiny bit too much, don't you agree? <laughs> so uh, um, maybe I'm not doing any better. <laughs> well, I actually broke them there, so maybe I am. Okay, we have both our tank divisions right here now. Let's go and grab these two cities if we can. Come on, slowly, slowly, get him over there. He's a really good commander, unfortunately not with Panzer. The Panzer trait, but it's a really good division. Instantly broke that unit. Nice, I approve. Do you have supply though? Yes, you do have supply. So how quick are you? You should only 2.5. Oh, air superiority minus 50% speed. Oh god, that's a lot. That's a massive penalty. Uh, grab that city. If you can. We are defending... Excellently. Uh, let's try to surround these two units here in the south. Always have one extra unit. So we will go... Well, basically double-sided. We'll grab this province, this province, that, that, and that. And that will finish this round. Um, this is also one thing that should be fixed in later, later builds. They will not as easily fall for, fall for this very easy surround. Surrounds anymore. But um, right now I'm using everything I can to be able to win. Uh, please stop that unit. So attack up there. And you 
take those three provinces and continue upwards. Uh, you please go and reinforce that because this is a bad push. My troops don't have time to reinforce it just yet. Um, you f split up in two, attack right there. Actually, you should split up in more. You push back and attack that unit. Half of you attack there, half of you attack there. You get reinforcements there and there. You should be attacking straight forward. Uh, you should not be attacking, but reinforcing right there. Or moving, but reinforcing right there. And you should not be attacking. Cool. That's a lot of provinces to me, and none for you. And good. Finally broke that place. Attack right here, attack right there. You should be attacking south. Nice. Nice, nice. Stuff are shaping up. Stuff are shaping up. And I feel much, much more confident. I'm a bit sad that I still lost... Well... How many division? How many thousands of men are this? Uh, is it this session? Four hundred thousand? Or did we start at over one million? Oh, we probably did. We probably did. That has probably been around two million this session. Uh, one one point five million this session, not two million. We were definitely not at three million. Uh, please stop that division. Uh, they might not be able to. So please reinforce it. It's going to take us too long to reinforce it, but we might be able to retake it instantly, like they usually do. You are trying to attack that unit, but that's not going to work. Uh, or we might not at all take it instantly. But it seems like Japan and uh, my allies have taken Sevastopol and all the surrounding areas, and might go up and support us as soon as that province might be down. Uh, let's see, medium modern tanks. Yeah, we have lost a bunch of modern tanks in that small fighting. Uh, a tiny amount of fighting, and we're just losing modern tanks like I don't know, like they're growing on trees, and we can't afford that. We definitely can't afford that. All of this is done. Nice. Let's pick some more research than in naval. Yeah, I guess we can have some submarines. And let's research a carrier too. It might carry us. Ha! Huh. If only. Uh, you are doing battleships point four. Let's just add it to the fleet right away. Why just have it auto? And it seems like Soviet Union made a push for the Japanese main island. Or, well, not main island. Or maybe they just held that forever. Yeah, this is not really important land, even if you take all of that, so I'm actually fine. I'm not going to clean that up. Uh, we have still no backstabbers, nothing. I think it's just a nice round where nothing really went wrong, but most of the stuff actually went right. It went the right way. All right, um, anti-tank, anti-tank, oh, artillery, I mean. Let's remove five, five factories from artillery, which is something I usually try to avoid doing. And let's see, you are then going to be pushed to more fighters. Is it any meaning, actually? No, there's no meaning to actually produce fighters. I wanted some fighters to be able to drop a nuke, but we're so close to it right now, so I'd rather have more modern tanks, actually. Yeah, I think that's more, more useful. Yeah, you should be just be building more modern tanks. I think that would be much more useful. If we just grab, I think we might be able to, if we focus much more on it, uh, at least have five, six divisions, modern tanks, while th when this game ends. And I think the tanks number three and four might actually do quite nice stuff for us. Okay, you attack there, cool. Now let's continue. Let's see, yeah, a couple more minutes and then we'll round up this episode, this great episode. I'm really happy with the result. I was really doubtful at the end of last session if we're actually gonna beat Soviet Union. But um, things are looking up. Things are looking up. Grab this camp. No, 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 Daniel, no, Daniel, don't be greedy. I was thinking, maybe I can take this tank division all the, uh, all the way to Kiev. No, don't do it. Don't lose your tank division. Uh, please, delay that unit. Delay that unit. Oh, god 
damn it. We need to grab that. Force them out. Do not let my tank division die, and otherwise I will like disband you or something. Uh, let's see, try to grab that city. Nice, how's supply going? Supply is still looking kind of bad. It's... Well, it's bad in most places, except here in the north. Well, north, north. It's... Oh, actually, it's bad there. It's just a tiny bit bad. Yeah, tiny, tiny. Insipiency. Tiny bad. Um, it's... Here, it's really bad. We have half of what's needed. And let's see. Here in the south... Well, south or east, I guess. It's... Eh, decent. I, oh, like supply is such a killer. I, I think I mentioned this in every single campaign, ca campaign I ever play. Supply. Keep your troops supplied. In both supplies as in supplies on the map and supplies as in manpower and equipment. It's just a, a huge difference. It doesn't matter that if if it's worse weapons. Like, I'm, I'm still producing weapons 1. I think. Wait, no? I'm not producing weapons 1? Where, where do I get my weapons from then? Oh right, they're placing weapons 3. But yeah, all the weapons are being spent sooner or, sooner or later. So it's like weapons one, if I think I did it, or I know I have done it earlier in this episode, like instead of trying to produce weapons three when I was severely lacking weapons, I started producing weapons one. It's better to have a gun than no, none at all. You might be taking heavy losses, you might be, but they at least have a gun that they can shoot with, defend themselves, instead of just letting them die. And we're soon cleaning up this. I just gave them a very long and good and nice easy time to just relax and gather up their strength to clean up this lost pocket of Soviet resistance here in the north in uh, Murmansk. Yeah, I want to see this as the last thing. Clean this up and then we're rounding up this episode. That would be a nice ending if we manage to do it. No, nope, stop. Then we have finally like made some really big progress. Or it, at least it looks like big progress. <laughs> I almost want to pull up my tank divisions here to just help them clean this up. Though I think that might be too much. They have one big stack left that are kind of well supplied. Otherwise it's just my troops walking in. So all seven divisions. Oh wait, it was not all seven. It was just a tiny bit very few divisions coming up here uh, let's try to fix that and all of you guys push over right here five divisions come up right here and continue straight forward all of you guys you're actually pushing in nicely try to break them we need to be able to break them both of you stay right there push here otherwise the rest of you should just be holding the line hold hold nice all right, the now it's the end of these units. They have no way to run. They have no way to regroup. It's just, I would push, they will fall. Well, actually, <laughs> just because I say that, they're actually managing to hold and regroup and do all that stuff that I said they won't be able to. But, well, these two units are just marching in, ending their areas, and the longer time it actually goes, the less supply they will have, and the higher, uh, higher of an advantage I will get. Maybe not true at all. Why do you have supply right here? You shouldn't have any supply right here. How can you have supply right there? That should be impossible for you. Uh, let's not push. Let's just relax. Gather your troops around, around those two last remaining provinces and then break them. And here we might have a big surround opportunity. If we take that province and take that one, just having that entire area as a pocket might be huge. If they arrive in time. I don't think they will, unfortunately. Or maybe they will. Yes, they, they, they did. They did arrive in time. So just push away that counterattack. Nice, and try to grab that now. 
Oh no, they're instantly pulling back all their forces. Yeah, they really don't want to be surrounded right there, and I definitely agree with the AI. Alright, uh, you guys, you have had some more time to regroup now. Okay, cool. Now you're pushing them out, but I'm still surprised that you actually have a supply here. Yeah, it's five. Okay. That's it. Uh, that five, five supply is enough for this. If that is what they have. Okay, and now clean that last pocket up and we will celebrate good times. Come on. Come on. Yes, grab it. Anyone. Gods, this is taking attrition like hell. And there we go. We cleaned up the north. We're taking parts in the center, northwest, no southeast, and all that. It's the final time for Soviet Union. They do not have very much left. We have lost additional one, two million men. I don't know how much I had. And especially think about the land I'm taking. I'm getting more manpower. I'm getting more manpower every month. And I'm still losing a ton i think i lost i think it was at 14 point something when i began this episode so i've lost a lot of men 204 divisions versus the soviet unions well 400 they are f they have 13 13 percent left before they actually fall and then it's just a quick cleanup of poland we have received 3266 in casualty score Shice, that's a lot. Occupation, well, we occupy all of this and that gives us 6,000, but casual score of 3,000. That's basically the occupation that Soviet Union, occupation war score that Soviet Union have, which is kind of weird since they don't occupy anything. Whatever. Uh, let's check Japan, 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 Japan. Only our casualties gives us around twice the score that Japan has, not exactly, but almost. Yeah, we have lost a lot of men. I, I, I've I basically never seen these numbers before. 16.33 million men versus 11.6. And then we have, yeah, 2 million Japan, 1 million Iran, 600,000 Sinkian, 800,000 Pol- Oh god, it's a horrible war. Um, but thanks, thanks for joining me this episode. Hope you liked it. Like, comment, subscribe, that nice stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, and bye.